A resident of Mara on the east bank of Burbies raised several issues affecting the community with the region's ex-chairman and vice-chairman. Renato Court reports. Resident of Mara, Mr. Randolph Pross, brought to the attention of Regional Chairman of Region 6, Mr. David Armagan, and Vice Chairman, Mr. Zamal Hussein, during their recent visit to the area, several issues that have been affecting residents of Mara. One of the first issues he highlighted was the poor condition of the sea defense, which has contributed to recent floods in the area. Um, Minister of Agriculture, he spoke about the sea down, the sea defense. Well, I was still from here, from here to Belmont, um, the Cairo. That was left unfinished, and as a result of that, some of the farmers are suffering. Vice Chairman Zamal Hussein assured Pras that plans are being made to remedy the issue as soon as possible. Very, uh, I think the, um, the Ministry of Agriculture has noticed put out some tenders, and I think that is one of the areas that is here. Yeah. So because the minister make the commitment, and we gotta, you know, we gotta tender out the, we gotta follow the procurement process. Okay. So shortly you will see that up and running. Secondly, Mr. Pras highlighted the need for aerial communication in his. Village. We just talking about communication all the time. So we just speak about aerial communication. We did, we did say that if we could get an antenna, because cell phone we cannot get no kind of service in this area. No access. So if we could get an antenna from either GTNT or DDSL, we would be very much grateful for that. In response to this, Chairman Armagan made these remarks. You know, um, the telecommunication sector has now been liberalized, yeah. which means that there can be more than one player yeah. in the telecommunication industry. Yeah. So we are hoping that Digicel and there have been interests um, indicated by some other major companies around the world to come and invest in Guyana. So hopefully, very shortly, you might, you might be even be running landlines and, 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 and cell phones in these areas. The condition of the road was also mentioned, after which the chairman noted, We have seen the road coming in. This is not the first time, but we have come in before the elections and so on. And the road is in a very deplorable state, I must admit. And it has gotten worse since we came in the last time, maybe because of the heavy rainfall that you have experienced here over the last few weeks. But we are committed to spending some money. I cannot tell you how much it is stage because I have to, we have, still have to consult myself and the advisor plus the ARIO and we have to be able to see what sums of money we have available to make sure that we can at least fill these holes, these, these big holes that you have here in the Mar area. He further added, uh, Coming down from that side, it is not so bad, but if you have to go from this side up, it's, it's in, a, in a worse situation. So what we'll do is, uh, maybe do some fill some fillings up in that area, and then we will do the, the major work. We will start from this end, going back, because this really got the the major problem. We are trying to make Mara a better community, and hopefully, with all these things that are put in place, your lives will improve. The chairman and vice chairman pledged to work together with residents so as to ensure continued developments in and around the community. Reporting for Channel 8 News. Renetta Court.